Hello, welcome back to PowerShell for Pen Testers. In this video, we're going to talk about how we can use PowerView to enumerate users within the domain environment. So the way we're going to do that is simply first by starting up PowerShell. And we don't need uh, an elevated PowerShell prompt here. We can just run it uh, as the low privilege user. And back here in the background, I have in Notepad just our download cradle. If you would like, you can go ahead and uh, do the same here. You can uh, put it into a notepad file and then when you need it you can just copy it and paste it so here I'm just going to copy this uh, command and I'm going to paste it and this is going to import the power view module into memory and then first we'll just simply run get net user get net user will query the domain controller for all of the user accounts within the active directory environment so we'll see the built-in administrator account uh, as we scroll down we will see the guest account uh, scrolling farther, we can see my mayor account. You might have an account here that you created as well that'll show up. Uh, we have the KRB TGT account, etc. And then here you'll see we start getting into the user accounts we created with AD Generator. So we have Aaron.Adams or Aaron Adams or A.Adams. We have J.Taylor, which we create or added a local account on this computer uh, or on Workstation 01, etc. So some items of note here as we're scrolling through user accounts and things you might want to pay attention to is the login count. How often is this user account actually being used? Um, their actual same account name. This is going to be their user account name that you're uh, going to find within the domain. Uh, scrolling down a little bit farther, the object uh, SID right here, which is actually scroll up a little farther. Um, this is going to be their object uh, identification number for the domain and member of member of so for instance this user is a member of senior management they're also a user and they're also a domain admin in the domain j.taylor who we created a local account for that we're going to exploit later in the uh, in the videos uh, is a local admin on workstation 01 and here you can also see that within the domain they're a member of it admins and a member of the administrators built-in group in the domain <clears throat> Something else we can check for as we are uh, working through our enumeration within uh, PowerView is simply looking for canonical names. And we might want to see who, you know, if there's first and last name combinations within the domain to see who else we're working on. If you're doing OSINT and you're trying to identify um, possible users within a directory or an active directory environment, and you've got some old passwords or you want to guess uh, you know, user credential combinations, understanding who it is you're looking at and being able to do a little bit of OSINT on these individuals might help you determine uh, how to scale your password uh, or your credential attacks, right? So if Aaron.Adams is a Seahawks fan, it's possible that he could be using Seahawks in his um, password. So, you know, these are things that you wouldn't know simply by being inside the director or the active directory environment itself. However, you would be able to do some OSINT after you've identified some of these individuals. One of the other things we can do is uh, pipe out some of our um, instructions with PowerView. So if we do get net user and we want to select expand property, I'll scroll this up a little bit. And if we ex expand property to something alongside the left here, in all these different items, we can do like same account name. So say we want to skip all of this output and we just want to see what the actual domain user names are, we could do same account name and hit enter. And this will output the same account names for all of the users. This is really important and valuable as well if you want to try to do uh, a password spray you know, within the domain with something like CrackMap exec and you want to just use a few different passwords to see if you can break into one of these accounts, this would be one of those ways you could identify what those actual accounts are. Something else within Active Directory environments that we see quite often is administrators using the description line with users to declare passwords and such for lesser used accounts. One of the ways that we can use PowerView to enumerate this is to find user field. So if we use find user field, search field, and then we do description because that's what we want to search and we hit enter, we can see that we get same account name as well as in the description, the password 
of that information. So this is going out and it's searching those uh, description fields within the users in the domain environment. We can also do this if we want to look for, say, admin accounts. So if we type in admin at the end, we can see here we can identify that the administrator is one of the built-in account for administrating computer domains. So this is you know, a domain administrator account. I encourage you to just sit and tinker with this for a little bit in this lesson, see what else you can find uh, about different ones. One query you could run, just to give you a hint, is built. And this will show you, for instance, built-in accounts. So um, hopefully you've learned something here about using PowerView to enumerate user accounts within the domain. The next lesson we'll talk about how we can do a similar thing uh, with groups. So until then, thanks for joining.